Assalamu alaikum. Invite endless blessings into your home. Please subscribe now. The button below. So, alhamdulillah, that for one reality from Surat Al Yusuf about the path and our way towards this door of marifa and that our life is a continuous struggle that when Sayyidina Yusuf salam, because this when Allah describes this most beautiful qissa and story, 12th surah of Holy Qur'an, the 12th month of the nation of Islam and Allah says, this is a most beautiful qissa and it's from the alif lam ra and Izzatullah from Allah's Izzah and Might moves through the lamb of Lisan al Haqq and through that lamb it gives every isharat to Rabbaniyoon, the lofty and lordly souls in which Allah has predestined and raised their reality. And this a reminder for them because. Surat Al Yusuf, Allah has all the coding of what Rabb means and its many uses. Rabb is an authority that this qissa and this reality is to reach to Rabbi Al A'la. Means I'm on a path to reach to my Lord Most High, in which Sayyidina Yusuf saw the destination, I reach such a station in which the sun and the moon and all the planets of this galaxy made sujood to me. But the path is then based on not inheriting, just don't step into something and inherit it because if anyone was to be inheriting would be Sayyidina Yusuf Asam, his father is a Prophet of Allah And Allah is specifying for Sayyidina Yusuf Asam, no your father's past and reality is one thing but yours is a different. So again the status of every insan is going to be tested by Allah There's no birthright towards the reality in which you step right into it and achieve what Allah wants you to achieve. Then there's the well that you're surrounded by jealousy and the brothers are all Prophets of Allah So reminder then, do you think that normal people are not going to be jealous in our lives and have enmity and envy in their hearts and all they want is the destruction of someone? That's the evil eye, the understanding of energy, the understanding of hasad. The understanding of every type of difficulty the shaitan wants to put on to people to push towards you. He doesn't want you to accomplish your goal for Allah He wants to push every player on the field to come after you. So when people think the world is against them, Allah no, no this is the struggle of this dunya. And gives the example that this is very loved story and this is the story of the Prophets of Allah So this is showing these are the people whom Allah loves, how He's going to be testing them. And said that the hasad was so bad and so difficult but your path was based on going into the well. Thrown into a well, thrown into, a, in, into a, an ocean of difficulty. And we're in continuous upside down tribulation in our lives. And at every moment Allah from every direction there's a storm coming. And that's why then the tafakkur, the contemplation, the circles of zikr is a circle of paradise. Dunya wasn't supposed to be the paradise. The road 
To paradise is you walk through hell. You gotta walk through hell to get to paradise. If anyone thought this way into paradise was easy, you're probably on the wrong path. And the way to hell is like paradise. Las Vegas, all these entertainment facilities that shaitan has sent up, set up for them, like paradise for them. They even have paradise islands and paradise this and paradise that and that's a path towards Jahannam. So means this dunya was about that reality that our, our path into heaven we're going to walk through hell and shaitan going to make hell for us on every direction possible. So then Allah's ni'mat and opening was then, take this way of tafakkur before things become very difficult. Take this way of meditation in which you connect your heart and that you understand how to use these tools that when things are a little bit peaceful you're sitting and, and meditating and how to connect your heart that let me to be under the fires of these awliyaullah that led me to always be in their association, that their nazar to be upon me and keep me into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad These are the schools of protocol. They teach you good manners, good character so that the vision and the feeling and the condition of the heart opens to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad The bad doesn't open into the presence. It's just by its nature bad. When people do bad things they become veiled from Sayyidina Muhammad The more bad the more veils and veils and veils until it's like a steel wall. And then shaitan begin to attack that individual and difficulty begins to come to them. Every type of, of difficulty begins to visit them, the rizq becomes farther and farther and farther away. For when Allah loves you, He sends everything to you, that it comes. You do your zikr, do your tafakkur, be sincere, keep clean, keep the love of Prophet be an ambassador for truth, uphold the justice and the rights of people and don't enter into the teams of shaitan. For if you should enter into the team of shaitan you've taken now a path of darkness. That was our whole life. The meditation, the tafakkur, the connecting is the tool in which to use so that when every time a test comes to me I can sit and meditate and contemplate and when things are too fuzzy and too clouded I use the zikr as a gate towards paradise. So you see those sci-fi movies when they make this this ring opens up with star, star what is it called star ring? It was a, mo a series. Stargate. Stargate, that's it, it goes and as soon as they turn it on you can walk through that dimension. Oh, Prophet gave to us the halakas of zikr. So their stargate, literally the angels are circumambulating all the way to Arshur Rahman. So if you sit with them and Allah opened wherever you are on this earth, get yourself your contemplation, put a headphone if you have to, close your eyes, listen and put yourself into that circle of zikr, it's a gate opening for you. Then all these tools come to understand how to use that gate. That in these times of difficulty when that gate is sitting there you sit, you contemplate asking, Ya Rabbi let me to be dressed by your light, blessed by, by your lights. Keep me into the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Make your requests that send this fire, send this light, take this mushkalat away, take these difficulties away, give me the good character. Get, get the isharats and the guidance and the lights and the understanding I need for the gates of paradise when they open every difficulty is washed away. Because how you can go to paradise 
and then come out of it. It's not in the rules of paradise. So, Ya Rabbi keep my soul always in your halaqahs of zikr. To be washed in this halaqah, to be dressed from this halaqah, I have become overrun by the difficulties of shaitan and what he's putting upon me and putting upon all my loved ones. So these are immense blessings to connect and to calibrate, to make the connection, then to make the understanding is what I need to know, what is the guidance I have to receive. That in that chal and in that hole is the time of contemplation. And Allah wanted Sayyidina Yusuf contemplate, your title and your family connection has no importance in this hole. All that's importance in this hole is your connection with Allah and the one who came, came now to fetch him for Allah So in that hole Allah begin to guide. That wherever you are these are all analogies that your whole is your difficulty in life. And then when you pray out, Ya Rabbi grant me, grant me a salvation, grant me an understanding, Allah inspire with you, click, boom, the next video you're on the channel. Now we came to the part about the ones Allah sends to the whole. When Allah guides, there is no guidance except when Allah guides. Whom Allah guides is truly guided, there is no guidance without Allah It's not perchance, it's not a ra random act of your cleverness. This is a guidance from your Lord. If you take it, alhamdulillah, it wasn't you cleverly clicked on the page. You had prayed for salvation, you had prayed for an understanding, you had prayed for something to be taken and that was your hole. Then they came to fetch you. When they fetch you they realize that, oh there's something in this one, means then they start to deal with you. The line up is your emailing. Because some people don't put the beads together, and their mind just sort of like, wow where, do you, where are you going? So you have to put it all together. The line that reaches you is the emailing and the line of communication with those, with that caravan that is here to take you to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad for the king, Malik al-Aziz. Allah don't make stories random. The name of the king is Malik al-Aziz, means Sifat al-Aziz that nothing escapes this king. It's not about a dunya story, it's about the king whom Allah's Aziz and Sifat al-Aziz is upon that reality and can be no one other than Sayyidina Muhammad with love and muhabbat that Allah has. He says, your ultimate destination on this path is to the Divinely Presence and that Divinely Presence it has a king, his Malik al-Aziz Sayyidina Muhammad The caravan has to come to get you and bring you to that presence. When they bring you surrender your will, don't tell them your title, don't tell them your background, your nobility. Can you imagine Sayyidina Yusuf telling the caravan who he is? They came up and they took him as a captive. Why? Why Allah wants that analogy for us to understand? There's no title going to this king, there's no, I'm, you know who I am. No, we don't really care who you are. Malik al Aziz doesn't care who you are because it's not the, the dunya titles that match, 
But it's the nothing titles that are important for Prophet How much difficulty can you take? How much humiliation? How many testings can you take? Those are the medallions of your soul. How do you prosper through difficulty and testing? So then that caravan of hope comes, looks at you that there must be something good within this one, we'll start dealing with them because Allah is sending them. The email and communication is the rope that is lifting you and bringing you. Then their teachings and all of the, the study, the material is the protocol in which to give you good character and understanding. Good character, understanding. Every test has its results that Allah wants, wants to grind you and finish you until there's nothing left of you. And then the whole entry into the kingdom. So it's not easy to have a high rank and become ahsiran, to become a captive. And for a Prophet of Allah that's why Allah's greatness that He shows the best and the highest of example and nobody is at a station of prophecy. So it's matter who you are, Allah said, look when we want a station for you, you have to be tested, be patient in your testing. You're going to be humbled along this way. As you enter into this humility then they're going to take you to the market, the king will come and purchase you and now bring you into his kingdom. So it means then as soon as you've made that connection and you start going on the way, there's so much barakah flowing from this kingdom that many people lose themselves. Barakah's flowing. Things opening, all these things happening. What happened then for Sayyidina Yusuf that women represent the dunya and his beauty represents the beatific lights of Allah upon him. Doesn't mean you're physically beautiful. It means that you're spiritually beautiful with Allah For if Allah loves you and Sayyidina Muhammad loves you, you're beautiful to the whole world because the beatific lights of your soul begin to shine out. And always these analogies, the women represented dunya, that every time the dunya saw this light they were astonished by it, they were throwing themselves at his feet. Means be careful, be careful with the barakah of what's coming from that palace. Be careful of whatever authority you think you have, what ability you think you have, whatever you think you've achieved from this kingdom, be careful. Don't abuse people, don't take the rights of people, don't do these things that are contrary to what Sayyidina Muhammad want. Many become crooks, they steal the rights of women, they steal the rights of children and they steal the rights of people. You're not the first. How many came to the tariqahs and they began to abuse people, give me everything that's in your account. Give me this, give me that, we have them all the time coming. They empty everything in their life, they leave their families and they give this money to some person who's promising them what Allah knows best what He's promising. And that's not the way to support, you support, you don't empty your accounts for anyone. You, you take away the desire to conquer the earth and to achieve to be the CEO of, of the biggest corporation but to be a servant of Allah and that what mulk Allah has given to you, you place it to be in service and a real shaykh will teach you how to balance what you're doing, he doesn't ask you to empty your account. That those women represent that reality, so much barakah flowing 
The dunya is throwing itself at you. Which one are you going to take? Are you going to take that dunya? Are you going to try to run after that reality? Until the king's dunya means now it even got even higher temptation for Sayyidina Yusuf Wa Zulaikha, the wife of the king is now got her eyes upon him. Means not just even minor dunya is chasing you for that tabarak that you're being dressed by Prophet the lights of Prophet all these lights and blessings from the zikr, from the associations. Because everything they do has an immense barakah flowing. People in their mind begin to think it's themselves, it's from them. Whatever opens it's from them, they get it and they run. But this path of humility is not from me, it's from those who saved me and dressed me and blessed me and taught me live a life of service, defend the weak, be of service to Allah to His creation. So Zulaikha then represents the big temptation coming and keeps trying to grab Sayyidina Yusuf until the final confrontation. Where now people entered into the room, they saw what had happened that she's all over this and now the king has to get involved. Means that the king enters into the room means your case is going to the presence of Prophet and they're going to ask. Were you going after her or she's coming after you? If you're going after her, everything in front of you is, is torn. If you were running from her, your back is torn. So it means he wasn't going after her trying to attack that dunya but he was trying to run away. And Zulaikha was going after him and tore the back of his shirt. Means at that point Sayyidina Yusuf gives for us the example that this barakah and this blessing was so immense for what Allah was dressing of that maqam that he asked Allah prison is better for me than this dunya. The first hole was you were thrown into it, the second hole you asked for it. Means admit to yourself you're wrong, admit to what you're doing wrong, admit that this dunya is tempting you. Live a life of humility, Ya Rabbi I'm overtaken, I, I'm not able to, to deal with what's coming towards me. And every night they cry and they cry for najat, cry, cry for help, cry, cry for a madad and support. And they should look, this dunya attacked from my back and attacked to me. Prison is better for me means I want to go into my seclusion and I have to seclude myself from people. If I don't seclude myself from people and continuously want to be active with everyone, you're going to run into that difficulty until the case is in the presence of Prophet and that's not going to be good. At that time he realized. How am I going to reach this station with this kind of uh, fitna all around me? Better that I seclude myself, seven years was went into isolation and prison. A prison too, can you imagine a prison of those days? What type of difficulty he put upon himself, he asked, better I go to prison. We pray that Allah give us deep understandings of the Holy Qur'an and its reality that you, you took a path, when the path begins to open for you, the blessings begin to flow upon you. Don't think it's over and these blessings are just coming from every direction. You have choices to make and Allah is giving you temptations. Seeing which one is it that you want to be tempted by and the course has to remain to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and then we take a course in which we isolate ourselves. We lived often very isolated, don't have to deal with people, don't have to communicate with people. 
keep yourself distant from all of these temptations, make your zikr, your salawats, make your connections. If Sayyidina Yusuf is reminding us, imagine what kind of difficulty we're going to have and he's a Prophet of Allah We pray that Allah dress us and bless us and give us an understanding of the immense barakah of the light and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad mm-hmm. and to survive through that barakah, to make the right choices and the right… This is a time in which immense difficulty is heading towards this earth. We said, we don't want to live a life with the wrong bullseye on the head. You know, you do something and all of a sudden the bullseye comes to you that now punishment enters towards you. Why? Why would we want that type of life? And we're going trying to do all our da'wah, all our teaching, Ya Rabbi grant us your tawbah, grant us your maghfirah, grant us good character, forgive our wrongs for the sake of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad protect us and guide us. If you live a life of humility, you be safe. When you do something wrong, quickly run to tell the shaykh, repent to the shaykh. Don't hide. Shaitan's biggest danger is he make you to think you don't need to repent. As soon as you've done something wrong, you have to say it, I'm under control, I can't control myself. And this email line is a connection that I'm doing things wrong, I'm, I need your, your nazar, pray for me. You admit to yourself, don't let shaitan hold your mouth so that you don't repent. And then secretly you put into your heart everything is okay. No it's not okay because now that bullseye is moving towards you. We pray that Allah save us through these difficulties and that Allah open within our hearts the understanding of tawbah and maghfirah and that Prophet nazar be upon us and he, that He push into our hearts the good character that keep us and our families to be safe. Anyone who doesn't care for themselves they should care about their family and the difficulty that will face everyone. Wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. Click the link now to subscribe.